First of least favorite clan. I, I like Umbra. Umbra I, I've been saying Umbra is one of my favorites. But recently, I've been liking this Digin a lot. But I, I think I, I really like Umbra. So she can devour my spells. Okay. We got Mortal Trade. I've grown to like this card a lot. Life Steal is a crazy good stat. As I've played more, this is I've really grown to really like a Mortal Trade. I had a video recently where I made like a face about it. It wasn't deserved because this card is actually Life Steal is very good. Um, we got two harm break, which is good. I love targeted damage. And then we have deal 20 damage to a random enemy unit four times. If it kills it, you gain energy. I can't even play this at the moment. So we have to find a way to find that, to make that playable. Boom, we make it playable. So, oh, these are both so good. So Morsel's getting damage field means they are immune to sweep. And you can also put them to tank in the face of sweep. So we had a run where like, if I had damage field, I wouldn't die to sweep. And my penumbra would stay alive. And that's, that's useful sometimes, you know, the, the fact that they don't have to sweep and the fact that they can also tank even in the face of sweep. But Hell's Banner gives you energy, and I currently need energy because uh, I have a card that costs four. So I'm going to go with the proactive thing because I kind of need energy right now. You guys want to go for the Gorge? Let's go for the Gorge. All right, let's get some more water. And let's kick some ass. Oh, we can handle this. We've got, you got good targeted damage. Uh, sometimes more. Yeah, sometimes I do that. I promise. Sometimes, sometimes that's that's good. Get some gorge going. We also make we make energy from, from gorging, but we also that was a lot of energy just wasted there. That was rough. So I guess that makes it so the Ember Train is not as bad. So we can actually take advantage of Ember Train because uh, we make so much energy. Oh, but now I can't play my Excavation guy. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. That's awkward. Let me gorge on you. Let me gorge. I need some gorging. Gorge, 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 gorge. She's gonna be able to handle it herself. Penumbra should be able to 1v1 this, right? I need to give her life steal. Boom. Easy. Got the life steal. Ember man, life steal is so good, guys. Life steal is so good. Add a Morsel Miner, that's pretty cool. More life steal. And you know what? The Ember Train is not as bad with Hell's Banner. Or consume space. Get some space. We clearly don't need space. So if you're looking at it from a proactive point of view, I don't really need space, but that, that can space can be useful later on to have room for tanks and other things in other lanes. And then more life steal is pretty useful. So I can find it whenever I need it. But I don't I don't really have a unit that needs life as much. I mean, I just need to find units is what I need. Miners for more scaling. I mean, miner is pretty good, but do I have enough energy to play miner? I would definitely need to upgrade it. So Merchant of Magic is here, and I could upgrade it to uh, make it cost cheaper. Get a Hellhorn unit. I really want an Umber unit and upgrade the, upgrade the unit there, so. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the space here. It's a nice, it's a nice thing to have. AoE damage, apply rage to units or some armor on my units. Or in a pinch, I can do piercing damage. I think I like, I like, I value AoE damage. But I, I think I value events a little bit less, you know. But it does dump my X cost energy sometimes. Let's take a look at the shop first. So we got quick battlestone and strength stone. Let's keep that in mind. So if we get a sweeper here, 
All right, so quick is not good for these. Battlestone is not good for these. So these are good units, but they're not good for um, the upgrades I got. So what would be better, Morsel Master or Morsel Maker? Morsel Maker works better with Shade Splitter. Morsel Master, Morsel Maker works on his own. Morsel Master is better for the Shade Splitter. I think the Maker is better here. Now I don't really have good units to use with these. It's like, eh. What what would be the best in slot for Morsel Maker? Upgrade wise. So I really don't like how I, I don't want to take advantage of these upgrades though. I really don't like that. Yeah. So my Morsel Maker she just gives me he just gives me energy every turn. Like it, it makes Hell's Banner so it, the way it works with Hell's Banner is amazing. It's so good. But what's the best what's the best in slot for Morsel Maker? Do I just give it some strength? Because I'm thinking, what would what would it damage shield maybe so it stays alive? Um, what else? There's, there's not much best slot for this, I guess. Maybe health. The damage doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't want to re-roll this early. Absolutely don't. It probably just wants damage to their health just so it stays alive. So it doesn't die as easily to Sweeper. It doesn't die as easily to um, Thorns. But I'll just give it some stats now so I don't take, I don't lose um, that privilege of those upgrades. Union Draft is very good because we want to find a tank in the bot lane or a Sweeper in the bot lane. I'm thinking Shadow Eater. I really like Shadow Eater. I've grown to really like Shadow Eater. So if I give space, it won't matter anyways. So we always put space in the mid lane here. Because if I put space, it's always going to be full regardless. Wait. This is bound to kill something, yeah? It's like mathematically always bound to kill something. Math, we love it. We love it. Wait, it's four times, so it kills everything always. Duh. Guys, I can't believe we're getting extra gold for this. Can you believe it? I, I, I put I put a world trade now, right? Emerald trade now. Well, because in order for it to get energy back, I it needs to kill something. That's why I said that. And now I can put morsels in this lane. Wait, is it... Is it better to play Train Stewart here instead? I guess that's kind of similar. But can my lady do it? Can she do it? Yeah, easy. I think we're getting better at this game, guys. I think we're getting better. Some more Ember Drain lifesteal. Keep my, my ladies alive. The ability to give Rage and Ember Drain so I can get some energy. This has more targeted damage. So targeted damage is pretty good. Or do I just want more lifesteal? Because lifesteal is so good. Lifesteal is just really good. Especially on my Penumbra, who's going to be getting a, becoming a big big threat. Lifesteal is super good. But the only problem becomes card draw at that point. Um, I guess Minecraft is kind of good too for targeted damage. This game has auto save, yes. Might have to redo the battle though. And I guess card draw becomes a problem. More targeted damage, huh? Do I really need more targeted damage? More life steal. This is good AoE. We have another morsel maker or a morsel master. Uh, we just put both of those in the top, right? So then that lane is kind of solved. So we push, we have to, we have to find a, a, a way to do something with Shade Splitter. Because right now Shade Splitter is not doing anything. So I do want Umber units because I want like a Shadow Eater. I want some of these good Umber units. But I also don't know what I want to duplicate. Am I duplicating another Morsel Maker for another lane? Am I duplicating Molten Imp for more AoE? I 
I'm probably duplicating like multi nymph for AoE. A morsel maker for another lane, I guess. We can start doing two lanes. I want something that can gorge, like, like a Shadow Eater or something. I do want to upgrade some spells. Like, I want to upgrade Excavation Eruption. I also want to upgrade. Maybe. I guess I really want, only want to upgrade Excavation Eruption. And I can get like a Hellhorn unit. Maybe I can find a tank. Is Penumbra Gorging enough to win the game? Probably not. Hmm. Wait, technically I, technically I could fit two Morsel Makers and a Master in the top lane, right? But they won't even... It, it's over capacity. The things I don't know what I want to duplicate. I can go to the cavern first and duplicate what the cavern gives. Oh, that's good. Um, plus 15 magic power. Is that good for us? We have Hornbreak and we have tor Torches. That could be useful. We also have Vent. Is magic power good for us? Eh, it makes Hornbreak and our Torches better. Red Forge Hammer. Makes it a little bit easier to get my combo off. History of the World. This is pretty good, but I'll go for the hammer here. The the, the manual makes the most sense if I, if I if I can get it on the top lane, but I'm gonna do a more consistent approach. We got a shadow leader. It's perfect. So I want I want I want a tank I can put in the bot lane, and just like just do AOE and butter them up. So I want a tank in the bot lane. This is this is perfect. Crystal Ward is pretty good too. He's a good gorge effect. I like shadow leader. I have a grudge really like him. And then, then now that gives me reason to do Shade Splitter because Shade Splitter right now is actually does nothing for me because Morsel Maker and Morsel Master handle Penumbra alone. So now we can put Shade Splitter in the bot lane and have like some AOE and butter things up. Duplicate any card? Well, at this point, I duplicate a Morsel Maker as well for the sh Shadow Eater. So now we have two lanes that can do some stuff. Deck's looking really good already. It's got a nice idea behind it. Let's go put some of these, I guess. I can let this guy die. Maybe I'll put a Morsel Mega up there, actually. Cool. Get the Goers going. We gotta get our AoE guy. So, this is good AoE. We also have... We have our Shadow Eater as well. Uh, okay, when I play two units, I gain energy back, right? So, four energy, and I gain three back. So then I can do Excavation. I mean, what a turn. I mean, what a turn. We handled everything beautifully. We played our whole hand. Our deck. I say, you know what? That's a mark of a deck that's just super clean right now. Holy shit. Morsel Maker goes in the top lane. And I just start wailing at the boss here. I guess I could do this. I mean, wow. It's so clean. Except for this. I gotta keep this guy alive. That's problematic. Might as well do life to now, right? Oh, I killed the bot lane for free. Oh my god. It's, it's, everything's working beautifully. I can afford to do life to now, right? On my, my big tanker guy. Damage shield. That would have been really nice for this. Life still on this guy is so good, but he needs he needs strength first, of course. I need to give him some upgrades. Now I have a good unit to upgrade. Now I have a good unit to upgrade. 
Oh my god, this is beautiful. It's now we're gorging. And once we get a number upgrade, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be gorgeous. I give this guy life steal. He could practically win the fight on his own. I'm practically beating the, the floor on the first floor. And my top lane is the real threat here. I know, 15 magic power. I forgot that I had excavation with the 15 magic power. I think I should have taken that one, actually. I forgot I had that. You're 100% correct. I totally forgot I had that card. I was just thinking, like, man, excavation would have made that really, really that would have been really powerful. But I'm happy that I took the, the thing that I took. Because I think the deck has a good direction here. Give a unit multi strike. Uh, that's super good on my gorger. Like, that's a no brainer. Okay, I guess strat spike makes a lot of sense too because we have energy to dump and we can remove consume on this. And that can make me scale my penumbra like crazy. But putting gorge, putting multi strike on my gorge penumbra is super big as well. Multi strike is an insane stat, especially when you have a penumbra that's gorging. Remember, we did this before? They're both very good. Do you want a Zemi Fiend? Like for the mid lane? Do we even need it? Do we even need this guy in the mid lane? I mean, he could be like a tank for the mid lane, but like... I mean, I guess we could use him. Alright, he's not the worst. I think we want... I think we could... No, we have Shade. Shade is useful for the bot lane here. I think we do Pip Space. So we... No, no, no. I think we do... We're good on energy, so I think we do card draw, right? So we draw into Immortal Trade more often. Well, what, what is card draw good for? I think it's pip space. I think it's always pip space. So that we can, like, do more shade splitters. Pip space basically means we can do shade splitter in the bot lane in the mid lane. But that's not that great. It might just be, I think it actually might be energy, so we can do Ember Drain stuff. I think this might be energy here. Or, or energy or card draw. Hmm. Yeah, we have hammer, but like we can do even more shade splitter stuff. Because we have five shade splitters, we can do even more if we have uh, pip space. Because currently, right now, bot lane can, uh, could use more, and we can even do stuff in the mid lane. Or we can even do stuff in penumbra as well. But penumbra is going to be too hard to make pip space do anything. Alright, so here's what we can do if we do pip space and then we put the space prism on the top lane. Even after Morsel Maker and Morsel Master do their combo, I can still put a, a, a Morsel and still get Morsel in the top lane. But that's like very... Situational and not that great. Alright. So, if I get Pip Space, I can put more Morsels for the Shadow Eater. That doesn't make that much sense. If I take Energy, it makes my deck not be struggling against um, Ember Drain as much, I guess. Yeah, to Dante, let's go. That's exactly like the run I had. So no, it's gonna be Penumbra, the two makers, and then four more souls. So you're right, that doesn't even work. There's already max seven always. It's already max seven always. It's already max seven. Yep. You're totally right. So maybe just energy for to to handle Ember Drain. Or maybe just card draw so we can draw into our excavation and stuff like that sooner. We can draw into our AoE sooner. We can draw into our combo, our cards that we want to find sooner. It's just card draw then. Cardro, so we just we, we set up sooner because we're just this is a setup deck. Essentially, this is a setup deck, so we want Cardro to, to help that happen. And since we are a setup deck, we kind of want to remove cards to make it more consistent and get an artifact as well. So imagine the artifacts we're looking for are like Gorge effects trigger twice. Well, that's just game winning if we get Gorge effects trigger twice. Teeth of Gold, very useful. But I do want to upgrade my Shadow Hunter, my Shadow Eater, with some health and some other things. So this is a unit I do want to upgrade. Maybe give him Large Stone. That makes pitch space a little bit better. And uh, I have a Demon Fiend that I'm on upgrading as well. Yo, take care, Lagia. See you around, buddy. I don't know. I feel like removal is going to be good because we wanted this. It's a setup deck. We wanted to set up into things we want to do. And we move the train stewards. And artifacts are also pretty good. When's the next upgrade for units? Right here. Alright, we do that next next one. Alright, so we go to the, the unit upgrade next. 
with also we also get more removal. So what all we need is removal and, and you need upgrade and we win the game. There's still some things we gotta solve, right? So we still gotta solve like enemies that are moved between floors. We don't have anything that can manipulate that, right? There is a scent in Hellhorn. That could be useful for a scent. What else is there? There's cave in with Umbra. But I don't have those cards, so maybe I just take that infused mallet. Or take the gold. I don't have those, those cards, so I'm gonna take the, the mallet here. Let's get one more, more gorge. Oh, now it's happening. How you doing, Prime Milf? This is play proactive, right? We don't have those cards, and I'm not really like looking for those cards that crazily, so. This is gonna be kind of tough, but I'm using power health as a resource as long as my phone number doesn't die. So this might be tough. I'm just hoping that my penumbra doesn't die. I'm going to lose a little bit of power health. That's okay. Boom. multi nimp. Now we put Shadow Eater in the bottom. We don't have a thing for it, unfortunately. We can do this, keep it alive a little bit longer. And, uh... We're good. But, you bought wine today, so soon I feel better. <laughs> nice. I'm good. I want to start scaling up my... So we got, we got the combo. We got the two cards we care about. Let's start giving some stuff to my guy. He needs to eat something. If he eats, he gets boom, AoE, and the game's solved there. I should have played Excavation Eruption, that was my bad. That was my bad, boys. Excavation Eruption would have been perfect. I just run on Covenant 1 last night. Yeah, my multi pin number of gorge. Nice. Yeah, I remember I did like an early run with something similar to this. Alright guys, Shadow Eater just handles all these things. Look at this. He just handles all of it. And this guy does 50 damage. Butters, butter, butters them up. Butters them up beautifully. And now we play Furnace Step on our uh, per number now, right? And we give her... So we're going to have a crazy amount of Ember Drain. But I think we're already... We're already done, right? So... We're not going to need energy at this point. We're already done. Well, we want life still on our, on our tank, right? Because he's going to be d doing the bulk of fighting right away. So we're going to run out of energy, sure, but we just need to do Ember Drain on our tank. This is fine. Once they get up to Penumbra, Penumbra's... Look, look how big Penumbra is, guys. You ready? Look at Penumbra. She's lacking health, so we're going to have to give her some Immortal Trade. Get some Lifesteal. Did they change the interaction between Morsel Maker and Hell's Banner? Because I'm not, I'm not getting the energy anymore. Or can, or can I get it twice? Oh, it happens twice. It looks kind of broken. GG. Look at this. Even more life steal. So even if you thought I heal up every attack. Boom, boom. No, what I'm saying is that it's like not showing that it's proc. Because it happens the turn before. Apply damage to uh, one to friendly units. Add three uncommon or rare morsels to your hand. I can put those morsels in the bottom. I can just do Ember Cash and get Cash or Cache. And we can get some, uh, some some energy even more. So now I can counteract Ember Drain even more. So it's, I think it might be Ember, Ember Cash. Is it Cache or Cash? Applying damage could be useful. This counteracts Sweep. So Sweep can mess me up. This is pretty good for sweep. But I don't have that much space for the morsels. I think it's cash. Uh, Inferno? 
what does Impish Scholar do? What, what what card do I play that consumes? So more Furnish Tap, more Ember Cash, and more Space Prism. Wait, Impish Scholar is okay. And we have a lot of gold, so we can look for some trinkets, right? Now we want to upgrade units. We talked about this. Oh man, but those trinkets could be juicy. Large Stone. So what if we just give Large Stone to our, our Shadow Eater? And give him some health. That's all he wants to do is stay alive. Now we have a perfect tank. Beautiful. If we were to reroll, what, what else do we want to upgrade? Like Demon Fiend? I guess we can put Demon Fiend Large Stone as well. That's pretty good. Demon Fiend Large, Fiend Large Stone would be really good in the mid lane. But our tank wants to be like... Doing work. What, what would want Rage? Nothing really cares about Rage here. And we get to remove more cards. Okay. So I think we don't need these train stores at all. This deck is going great. Let's see what this is. I might just win every single game today, guys. Plus one energy for turn for every two blight cards, and we get another two for shards. Or more. Oh my god, we get this and we get even more. Oh my god. So when this upgrades, we're going to have energy for days and cards roll. And we also have Ember Cash in our deck already. So we're just going to have a shit ton of Ember Caches. Which is going to be insane. So now we can play Ember Drain willy-nilly. They're going to have multi-strike. This, this could be dangerous. But I, I feel pretty confident here. I think we just want cards right now for days. Alright, so we... We can play our Penumbra and our Marshall Maker. We can play Demon Fiend. And, uh, but I want to do Vent here. Wouldn't Vent be really good? But I want to play Demon Fiend as well. Damn. Vent would be good though. Marshall Master here. Oh, I forgot to play Excavation, Extraction, Eruption. Oh, I actually can't even play that. This guy's gonna get bigger. I can play this here. Okay. This can bring back another Ember Cash. Do I want to save this for Furnace? I think I just want to play it now. This can make that guy even bigger, but... Alright, we just have tons of excavated Embers in the deck. So we should be fine on energy-wise. We got our Shadow Eater. Beautiful. Oh, we can't play Morsel Maker in the back because we don't have energy. Fuck. Uh, God, that's unfortunate. We don't have enough energy to play Morsel Maker. So why did the banner not proc? That's what I'm talking about. See, see what I mean? I feel like the banner's not proccing. Shouldn't I have got banner energy here? They fix that. Okay. But now my aunt Penumbra is dead, so I think we're gonna we're gonna have trouble here. see something. I guess they have fixed it. I guess they have fixed it, yeah. Makes sense.
How did that guy get bigger? I don't get it. How did this guy get bigger? Ah, I see. Sick offense. It's important that I eat my um I'm gonna do first step now. My gorge, my my primer just to stay alive. So I'm I'm using all Ember Drain now just to like keep him alive. It's important he stays alive. I can't keep my demon. I guess I don't need demon feed anymore. I guess I don't need demon feed anymore. I can never save him anyways. But putting lifestyle on this guy is pretty good as well, right? Because he's actually pretty tanky and he can do a big bulk of damage. So I'll put lifestyle on him, I guess. And the, I guess Demon Fiend doesn't need to be alive. Totally fine top lane. You know what remnant? They're keeping keep spikes. I had and then it was exactly colder sub. I beat it yesterday too, man. It was a really great, a really fun run. I ended up having a really insane Dante. You'll see it on YouTube. GG. Now I've seen these little embers to be upgraded. Ooh, we got Trader's Quill, which... That could be useful. Because we do a lot of consume stuff. Holy crap. Is Cannibalize even useful? Cannibalize could be useful to get pip space in order to, like... I use the pip space to put something in front of tank? I don't think so. It's not that great. Kindle could be useful. Kindle's a consume spell that does damage, but also gives me energy. So I can play things just in case I, I always have energy to play things I need. But we're gonna be we're gonna solve energy with Ember Cash and then all the calcified embers. We're gonna have energy for days, right? I think energy need to be solved. With all these ember caches, plus we should be fine. There's a world where I I think it's just a skip. Like, okay, is Kindle sometimes useful? Sometimes useful on a pinch. I mean, there are sometimes we don't have energy. We don't have any crazy excess cards to dump the energy into. Cannibalize doesn't make a lot of sense. Because um, we're just like, Morsel Makers are basically, so we're only skilling with Morsel Makers pretty much. Mm, this is a skip. Apply Days, that could be good. Applying Days can be really good. App getting some random imps. It also is a consume spell that I could use for Trader's Quill and also getting some random imps could be useful sometimes for the mid lane. Applying days is quite useful. Kills an extra 30 damage, sure. But it's, it's also a card you're drawing. You just have to draw that card, you know? Alright, so I want to look for artifacts. If I were to duplicate something, what would I duplicate? <clears throat> I could duplicate Furnace Tap and we just have double multi-strike on our on our champion. 
And that's just insane. Double multi strike is insane. We can also go for cavern, some gold. I think I can go for artifact. Oh, for my spells. So there's a world where I remove consume on this. I remove consume on this. And I can also upgrade spells like uh, like Tyrus to make it a little bit easier to play. I can upgrade uh, Excavation to make it a little bit stronger. But I best in slot right now would be remove consume and furnace tap. Or we just duplicate furnace tap and now we have double multi strike penumbra with gorges. But I do want to get the artifacts as well, so I'm gonna do this. Split anvil, that's great. So now energy is like super solved. That could have been gold as well though. Let's make excavation cheaper. I kind of want to make. I might do a reroll here because I want to see if I can remove consume off of the. Um... I kind of want to hold on to furnish up when I'm ready, right? Wait, what would you want to hold on to? Tiresome climb when we need it. And we can make this get out of the deck. I want to reroll here. Give a spell a double step. Okay, so this gives me two multi strike, but it gives me eight ember drain. But do we care? How about this? Four days. That's kind of nuts. Four days is kind of nuts. That could be very useful. Whereas like, if I do double double ember drain, we we saw that it's okay. You do get double multi strike, and we like okay. Once you play this, you you can't really get energy for the rest of the game. Once once you play, it's over. So you, I guess you play towards the end of the fight. But I kind of want to play furnace up earlier, just so I can get advantage of multi strike, because it's very useful. So maybe I just for double, double, um, double dazed. Because like, here's the thing: if you do this, yes, we're solving energy, but yeah, we we just can't get energy for the rest of the game. I want I want to play that earlier. I'm doing this. Let's upgrade excavation, and let's make something cheaper. Like, um, so the best upgrade for this would be remove consume, right? So what would want to be cheaper? I guess we always like Hornbreak. It's not the worst card. And there's some things we want to remove, right? At this point, we actually want to remove some of these things. So we do get energy of Ember Cache. Maybe I'm wrong, actually. We can play we can play the Ember Cache or the Excavated Embers and gain energy from that. So maybe I should have taken that, maybe. I don't want all these torches. I don't even like Vent anymore, to be honest. Because I have good AoE Shadow, with Shadow Eater. Yeah, at the Super Ember Drain, I could have just done, like, the um, Excavated Embers. We have, like, six Excavated Embers in our deck. So she has Multi-Strike, and she also adds Scourges. But we can solve this really easily with the Shadow Eater in the bot lane. I'm always going for card draw here as well. So we, we set up sooner. We got our Molson Master. We can put our little guy right here just to prevent these Scourges. And we're already good. We need to put a Shadow Eater. We got the Shadow Eater right here. I want the, I want the multi to die, actually. That was a mistake. I'll fuck that up. Um, let's go put some stuff here. I fucked that up because I, I actually want that multi to die. Oh, whoops. I got Marshall Maker, but I think I gotta torch my own Shadow Eater. My own my own imp. Because Shade Splitter's gonna be very important here. Kill all these things in the back, and then Um I guess you put Space Bridge in mid lane. If I put Space Bridge in here. I never had space anyways. With Space Prism anyways, so I do this. This system was kind of a miss. It doesn't really do much for me. And I gotta be scaling my, my Penumbra here. She's not really getting scaled up because I don't have my Morsel Maker. And there it is. We can put the Imp here. Alright, we got more space. Nothing to do with it, but we got it. Okay. Hopefully my number can do some work here. That kills it, right? Ah, but what if it hits the boss? And then I'm screwed.
I don't want this to get through. Where's the card that gives me days? Oopsies. If it hits the boss, then I'm screwed, huh? I'm curious. If I do this, does this count as playing two morsels with ma morsel master? And does it give me hell's banner? So if I put one morsel here, does it does it do what I think it does? Let's find out. Yes. Should have done that first. Wait, why did I play that twice? Wait, you guys saw that? Is it just me or it looked like I played my tor my torch? Uh, oh, consume cards. Do thirty damage. Oh my god. Right. Let's keep that in mind. Consume cards. Do thirty damage. If I remember that, I could have played that totally differently. All right, trader scroll is very important to remember. Let's play this here. Get some energy. Furnished up now, yeah? A mortal trade in my tank. Uh, now I can't play the ultimate penance though. That's a little bit awkward. Okay, that's a little bit awkward. Now we're taking fire damage. Okay, that's one problem. Ember drain. Oh, we got this though. Wait, if I do days, wait, it, wait, does it actually move? Up? It doesn't move her up, right? I'm pretty sure bosses are immobile, or doesn't move them up. I really don't want to move her up. Well, I think she it does move her up. She actually can get moved. Wait, no, she can't be moved when she's fighting here, right? Are we positive? It moves her up here. So what if I just move her up in the mid lane and then she just went? Okay, so let's do this. We move her up once she gets to the mid lane and then it's game over. Once she gets to the mid lane, we move her up and it's game over. I get, I guess, except I don't have energy. There we are. Game over. Just in case it wasn't enough, look at this. Look at the lifesteal. Hell yeah. Four days. That's pretty sick. And the fact that it's permafrost, I can hold on to it whenever I want. It's a pretty good effect. Another furnace tap. Oh my god, one horn's tome. So it gives me multi strike without the ember drain. That's even better. Because that's also something I can bring back with Impish Scholar. It's a little more more expensive though, that's the problem. The problem is even more expensive. Can we even play that card? Because we don't have... That seems... Yeah, we can play it because we have so many excavated embers. We can play this. It's a card draw, yeah? Because we have excavated embers for days and we wanted to set up. And here they are, boys. Now they're upgraded. The deck is complete. We scaled up and it looks like we're ready to go. Now we got the, the energy we need. So what is, how do we want to finalize this? We want to finalize by removing some more cards. So we want to remove... I think we can move a Shade Splitter or two at this point and maybe remove some of these torches. Yeah, so I think we move two of the torches and maybe we remove like a, a Shade Splitter or two. Because that shouldn't have space for Shade Splitter anymore. Maybe the torch is even better than Shade Splitter, I don't know. But Shade Splitter gives me energy if I play a Morsel. So I like that because I can at least get energy playing a Morsel. And we might be want to upgrade... There's a world we upgrade one horn's tome to remove consume. If that happens, oh, it's probably game over. Yeah, let's go. I mean, the deck just gets better and better. And we, if we, the more we remove, the quicker we draw into our, you know, excavated embers, and then everything's just nice and smooth. So I'm gonna move one and one.
Let's take a look. Maybe remove consume. That'll be a high roll. Remove consume. Gets holdovers. What would one holdover? Um, maybe the lifesteal and keep putting holdover in the bot lane. And I don't really have that much for the holdover, to be honest. And I don't know if I want to re-roll here. I'm not sure if I want to re-roll here. I can make one horse trip cheaper. Make easier to play, and then I can re-roll for remove consume, but I don't think I want to. So what would want a holdover then? Nothing really. Yeah, the vent was a good target for magic power. Absolutely, you're right, you're right. I usually always do that too. I guess holdover on life still is the only thing I could do, but that doesn't seem that great. Alright. More gorge, and now the scaling is going to be immense. If we want to find those artifacts for double gorge effects, that would be the ultimate nail in the coffin. So I'm trying to save some money for artifacts. They're going to have 20 armor. That's going to be kind of dangerous because the conduits are going to give the units multi-strike. And if I can't kill them because they have 20 armor, well then this becomes bad. So also keep in mind that the general has trample. So trample is something we have to deal with. But he is not, kind of low life. I think I can kill this guy pretty easily if I stack up Penumbra. The problem here is these conduits are going to be doing... Ah, uh, they have armor, but I have a thing that pierces and kills him. So there's sometimes I can draw into Hornbreak and I can kill them. Still, 20 armor means that these things are going to be doing a lot of damage, multi-strike, and they have a lot of health. This could get out of, this could get out of hand. But 400 coins is pretty good because we want to ultimately buy some some trinkets, right? I guess technically we don't need 400 gold. I didn't even try to, but the homebreak upgrade was good because of the piercing. But the thing is, I only have one homebreak in my 31 card deck. So I'm trying to think how bad, how bad is this going to be? Multi-strike big health enemies. I can't really kill the backline that well. 400 gold gives me more options for trinkets, but it's not the end of the world. I don't need the trinkets, right? I don't need to get the trinkets. Maybe more up. Maybe I'll just get removal, get some duplication, and call it a day. If I duplicate one horn's tome, I have even more multi strike. Then my boss is just insane. My penumbra is out of control. So we don't really need trinkets. I mean, if I just buy one trinket, which is like the gorge one, that's all I really care about. All right, let's put this. We're completely set up right now. I forgot it does damage. Whoopsies. That guy's in torch range. Wait, how does she die immediately? Oh, the mallet. Holy shit. This guy has trample, so it actually makes sense to put maybe the order of things a little bit differently. Ah, uh, but since I do two... Oh, I kill these guys for free because I, I eat two at a time. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. And getting health from my Penumbra is great. I can just give Penumbra a multi-strike now, right? Wait, what if I do days now? So that I never take damage here. I just do days now. So then when, it, when it goes up to the top, it won't it won't hurt me. I mean, we play one horn home now. Boom! 
And we, we can we bring it back? There's a chance for Ember Scholars brings it back. You want to try? Should we go for it? There's a small chance it comes back. You down? Oh my god! We just high rolled the shit out of this. My deck's actually kind of good, dude. My deck's kind of good. Do I put more lifestone on him? I just keep stacking lifestone on him. Ember Drain, fuck it. Let the Ember Drain do its thing. Oh my god, we got it again, dude. Look at this. Look at Penumbra. We haven't even played Furnace Step yet. Should we do Furnace Step now? Fuck it. 101 times 4. And stack up multi uh, lifesteal on this guy. Fuck it. Alright, we have no more energy, but hey, we're set up. We kill the guy in the back, so now they got the bots doesn't have multi strike. And then we're, if, we're, if we're lucky, we can do tiresome climb when it when it matters. On the next floor, this deck is clean. And I do tiresome climb. Look at this, as free as it can be. It's not even close. Two hundred and five times four, and he has four days. Jesus Christ. 800 damage a strike and I can do it for four turns for free wow prison retrieval draw a unit and enhance it with plus five and minus that helps me draw into my units so that, that helps me draw into demon fiend it helps me draw into uh, the morsels makers and then it helps me draw into like shadow eater I mean this is not the this is not that bad I'll take it sacrifice an imp draw that could be useful. How many imps do we have? We've got like two imps. That could be as useful sometimes, but it might just be bloat. It might just be bloat. I only have two imps in the deck. I think it's bloat. Wait, Imper Scholar again? Because we saw that it popped off and hit one horn's tome. Do we go for the gamble again? And maybe it pops off twice? I mean, I got lucky. It brings back a consuming spell, so if, if anything, it brings back excavated embers, or it brings back one harm tome. So it's not it's not the worst. It, it brings back something useful, and bringing back consume stuff gives more damage. I'll do it. Fuck it. It's a little bloaty though. It is a little bloaty. A mix of both. All right, so I'll go for gold and go for the trinkets, or just more removal, and duplicate one harm tome. All right, I'm down. Wait, before we do that. Let's see what we can upgrade one hearthstone. Oh my god, we can remove consume. Wait, did we just do it? So now this now this has no consume. And I could duplicate that. But it's very expensive. But we have energy to play it. Yes? Wait, look at the trinkets first. Look at the trinkets. Look at the trinkets. Yeah, we have 500 without Ember Drain. Do I want magic power? I just want to purge then. I don't want magic power. Alright, so what do we move at this point? Shade Splitter is not as good. And do we need all these torches? Our deck looks nice, guys. We remove something else. Wait, is there, do we, can we, should we reroll first? Maybe, what, what are we looking for if we reroll? We're looking for, um, oh 
I mean, maybe if we remove consume on this as well, that'd be nuts. But that's a little too much, right? It's a little too much. Make vent consumable. I like it. It also does more damage with Fader Quill. And I think we remove here. So we remove one more card. I like Immortal Trade, but maybe that's too much Ember Drain. Also, I got two Ember Scarlets that I don't really need anymore. Shade Splitter is also not that good anymore because... It helps me summon Morsels. It does, but... Let's see what we got. Alright, we would have had double stack. You know, I just wanted to see. Make something consume. I mean, the girl already consumes my spells to begin with, so I should be mindful of that. I almost forgot to duplicate. Almost forgot to duplicate. Okay. I don't think we lose here, boys. Let's start thinking of the title here. My spells are going to get consumed anyways. But actually, I'm stupid. I should have left the spells in my deck so she has stuff to consume. I'm so stupid. I need to leave stuff in my deck. Whoops. Prison Retrieval? That's a big morsel maker. Do I want to bring back Prison Retrieval again? Or nah? Not really. Yeah, but I'm saying like, I should have left some spells to, to be consumed. But I guess most of my spells consume anyways. Like, Excavate Ember already consumed, so... This stuff already consumes. Alright, we want to play One Harm Tome now. But we also want to play... Morsel Maker, Morsel Master. Oh, so we already set up. We already set up. We already got Multi-Strike. We're taking we're taking Power Damage, whatever. But we got we got one Multi-Strike out. Got our AoE in the bot lane taking care of all the Scourges. Um, they're trying to kill my dude. How do I keep my dude alive? I gotta kill this thing in the back. And then I do like multi nymph or something. Keep my guy healthy. And get rid of this stuff. Do I do Ember Drain? Do I do a life now for Ember Drain? Keep my tank healthy? I don't think I need to. And we're already set up. Now my number's gonna keep gorging. It has multi-strike. I think we're already set up. We got another tome. Oh boy. Furnace tap now? Furnace tap now, what do you think? Fuck it. Let's get some life still on this guy, keep him alive. I think we're already set up, boys. Wait, can I put... I can, I can move the boss up so that... I want to hold on to it, but I also want to move it up so I can do some damage to the boss right now. That might help. Do some damage. But I just gotta make sure I draw into that again when I need it. This thing's already consumed anyways. I could do vents, but... Dude, Trader Scroll is awesome. I can keep doing days on the boss. I mean, there's a world where I can do enough days where it's just like... There's a world where I can stack the days, I guess. Can I kill these units? Um... They have a decent amount of life. Alright, we'll keep stacking days in the bus. See how that goes for us. Is it where I just days the bus? <laughs> oh, we're getting some damage in the boss again. Did I put life stone on the bo bottom again? Nah, uh, he should be good. Maybe, maybe I just stack life still here, I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. We 
Yeah, we draw a lot of cards, though. So. Oh, we got one Hearthstone again. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Uh, 179 times 5. Oh, shit. Uh, let's play the Impish Scholar. Oh, we did it! 1 out of... 2 out of 17. Wait, no, it was 1 out of 17. No, 1 out of 14, I just hit. Holy shit, this Impish Scholar is a god. Alright, that's gonna be... One, it's gonna be times six penumbra. This is the best penumbra I've ever had, actually. This is ridiculous. I don't want to draw into this anymore. I want to keep. Wait, the boss is dazed. The boss is still dazed. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Wait, I didn't die to the thing on top, right? I didn't check. No, I have five energy already. Wait, and now we make the boss days? Is game over? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I didn't get to do the time six, but this would have been 285 times six. GG. Four days is nuts when you're doing this much damage. Kind of broken, actually. Shit. GG. I mean, we knew this combo was going to be strong, though. Like, Umbra Hellwind is a very good combo. We knew we were going to have an easy time with this combo. Because I was, I was bashing my face against the harder combos first. Igniter of Pyre, Savior of Hell. We got the penultimate. Oh, I think we got the final unlock, guys. You guys stick around for this one, because apparently this is kind of... Uh, Pog. Boom. Six cost, five pip, 200 and 150 health. Holy shit. That's a Shadow Siege. All right, we got to find a way to use this at some point. That's a beefy unit. You give that multi-strike? 